So in this problem, Britt is trying to buy school supplies, and he has a $20 bill. And we're told that with this $20 bill, he can buy 40 pencils, or 25 erasers, or 80 bookmarks. So, since we don't know the price of any of those, let's set variables for each one. We'll call P the price of a pencil, E the price of an eraser, and B the price of a bookmark. So, we know that with these $20, he was able to buy 40 pencils which means 40 times the price of a pencil must equal 20. Now, also with this $20, he was able to buy 25 erasers. So 25E equals 20. And lastly, he was able to buy 80 bookmarks. So 80 times the price of a bookmark will equal 20. Now, we only have one variable in each of these equations, so we can solve them. So P is 20 divided by 40, so P is 0.5 which means that the price of each pencil, pencil is 50 cents. Now we can solve this by dividing 20 over 25. So E must be 0 0.8. So the price of an eraser is 80 cents. And lastly, 20 divided by 80 must equal B. So the price of a bookmark is 25 cents. Now, Britt wants to buy complete sets that include all three of these. So we need to find the total price of, each, of getting one of each of these. So 0.5 plus 0.8 plus 0.25 equals 1.55. Now with this $20, we need to see how many complete sets he can get if they each cost $1.55. So we take 20 and divide by 1.55. Now this answer is about 12.9. However, we have to remember that he wants to buy, buy complete sets. So we have to take this 0.9 off because he can only buy 12 complete sets because 0.9 of a set isn't enough. So really, with the $20, Britt can buy 12 sets.